Hi, I'm John. Today we're going to look at the mail panel, how to find it, how to turn it on, and give you a little tour of what's inside Vivaldi Mail. Okay, let's go. So first of all, you will need to make sure that mail is turned on. So to do that, you go to settings and then scroll to the bottom of the general settings and tick this box to enable mail calendar and feeds. Now mail will be shown in the panel here. There's a little mail icon and to open mail, you just click the icon and it opens, expands the panel and does a little split screen with the rest of your window. So that's one way to open mail. There's a few other ways that you can open mail too. You can, for example, use quick commands and just type mail and mail panel will come up. You can see here, so you can hit enter and that will do the same thing. You can also use a custom shortcut, a keyboard shortcut or uh, assign a mouse gesture as well to, to open mail. To add your first account to the mail panel, uh, just click the button here, add mail account, enter your details in the little pop-up box here and you can select whether it's an IMAP account or a POP3 account that you're setting up and go through the manual setup if you have a few more things that you need to tweak to get going. For now, I will just enter my password and sign in. And then in the background, you can see that it's loading that mail account and fetching all of the mail and setting up my uh, custom folders and everything is going on in the background here. In the meantime, I can set up my sender name, select whether I want to prefetch all of my emails and uh, download them to my machine or set a signature. For now, I'll just continue. Okay, so the account is all set up. You can then go through and see some tips and tricks. You can add another mail account if you like, or you can open Vivaldi mail. So while these messages are loading, I can start talking about the different sections of mail here. So at the top, you have an all messages section, which shows you all the emails from all of your accounts in one location. So if I'd added multiple accounts, they would all be plonked into these different sections. So we have an unread section that shows you all the unseen and unread messages in all of your accounts. Receive is all messages, regardless of whether you've read them or not. Sent, of course, is emails you've sent. You might have some drafts that you're working on. Uh, the outbox is messages that you've finished writing and are ready to send. Uh, so they're kind of queued for sending. And of course, we have spam, uh, which is just a junk folder and trash, the deleted messages from all of your accounts. Then we have custom folders, which is mail folders you've created on the server under the inbox folder. So these would be folders that I might have created in a different uh, email client or from the web interface of the account that I'm using, for example. And then we have mailing lists, the mailing lists section, which you will see emails that have been detected as coming from a mailing list will be put into this section and grouped into folders. And you can, of course, go into the settings and edit uh, the status of these or mark other email addresses as coming from newsletters, etc. And then we have filters. So in Vivaldi Mail, you can create filter rules to automatically organize your incoming messages uh, and create kind of unique views. You can get into that <laughs> in a different video. Then we have flags, pretty standard feature of a lot of mail clients. So you can flag them with different colors and assign those flags to messages to track them and make sure you follow up on the ones you need to follow up on. Then we have labels. You can add custom labels to your messages and search them using that label and filter your messages based on those labels as well. And then we have the feeds section, which is pretty unique to Vivaldi Mail. So we have a feed reader built in to Vivaldi browser and items within those, those feeds that you subscribe to show under this section in Vivaldi Mail. So if you go to a news website and subscribe to the RSS feed, then every time there's a news story, it'll appear as an item in that feeds section of your mail client. And then at the bottom, we have the all accounts section, which is uh, just an overview of each account that you've added and the folders inside that. So you can kind of dig a bit deeper into individual accounts if you need to do that. Okay, so let's run through a few of the features that are included with Vivaldi Mail. So at the top, you have a button to check all of your mail uh, or check for new messages in all of your accounts. Just by hitting this refresh button, you can see it flash the fetching dialog there to show you that it's checking all of those. Then we have a send button here, and this is for sending any email that's in your outbox. So things that you have ready to send that are queued up and ready to go, maybe you're offline and you, as soon as you connect, you wanna make sure you send all of those messages that you drafted. And then we have a compose button, obviously for writing a new email. When you click that, it will open a new tab with that draft email, and that's how that works. But let's go back to what's happening with these folders here. So you can see there's two different numbers next to each folder, and this is for the unseen 
versus unread counts. So we have two different counters going on uh, to help you figure out what email you haven't dealt with yet or dealt with yet, I should say. There's also a few actions that you can do uh, if you right click on a folder. So you can open all the messages in that folder, which might be a bit intense when I have 1600 emails in that folder. You can rerun filters for folders, mark all of the items in that folder as read as well. And for a few folders, there's different actions under that right click menu as well. So for example, clicking on trash, you can empty the trash. Let's have a look at the settings because there's a few ways that you can tweak the behavior of the mail panel itself. So I'm going to get there by clicking this little gear icon down here for my settings. And then I'll find the mail section of settings and scroll down here to see the panel section of the mail settings. So you can see you have options to enable or disable these three things. So you can open mail tabs with a single click. You can show activity indicators, which means you'll briefly display status next to folders when updating. So that fetching message that you saw earlier when I, when I checked for mail. You can also decide whether to show or hide unsubscribed mailboxes as well. And because the mail is in a panel in Vivaldi, there's another uh, little bit of functionality here that you can use to adjust your, your window layout, which is quite handy. So you can see you can resize this sidebar and that applies even if I'm browsing somewhere else, this you know creates a split screen with the window. If I want that width of the mail panel to be different from my other panels, then I can right click and select separate width and that will lock the width of this panel specifically uh, compared to the other panels. So that's the tour of the mail panel. Thanks for watching and check it out. Go to vivaldi.com, download the browser, enable mail and get on your way. Thanks. Thanks.